Happy Monday, Jays. I'm Josie Wilkerson. And I'm Gianna Filardo. Today we'll have a look at weather with Caroline Crawford and a look at sports with Jillian Fleming. All of this and so much more coming up next. This, this is KLHS. KLHS. Welcome back, Jays. Let's start this week off with some great motivation. Joni, what do you have for us? Thanks, Gianna and Josie. Happy Monday, Jays. What's crack a lacking? Everybody, everyone knows that Mondays are the least exciting time of the week. But no worries. Joni's here to save the day with some wise words from Eric Thomas, a world-renowned author, motivational speaker, and minister on how to take advantage of every millisecond you have. Here it goes, Jays. If you only have 24 hours in a day, your success is dependent upon how you use the 24. You gotta hear me, people talk about Oprah Winfrey, you know, Ted Turner, Warren Buffett, listen to me, I don't care how much money you make, you only get 24 hours in a day. And the difference between Oprah and the person that's broke is Oprah uses her 24 hours wisely. That's it, listen to me, that's it, you get 24. I don't care if you broke, you grew up broke, I don't care if you grew up rich, I don't care if you're in college, you're not in college, you only get 24 hours, and I blew up literally. I went from being a high school dropout to selling 6,000 books in less than six months. What happened in my 24 hours? I was like, okay, Eric, you gotta get a grip on your 24 hours because you're about to be broke for the rest of your life. And this is all I need you to do for me. I can tell you all about your life if you just write down your 24 hour schedule for me and you let me look at it. I can tell you where you're gonna be in five years. I can tell you where you're gonna be in 10 years. I can tell you where you're gonna be in 20 years if you keep that schedule. Now that's all I have for to you today, Jays. That let's take money on by the bullhorns. Remember, you only have 24 hours. Let's make the most of it. Gianna? Clubs are a great way to get more involved in school, and they're all starting now. Creative Writing Club begins after school tomorrow in room 608. Also, Breakfast Club will be meeting for the first time this year on the Learning Stairs tomorrow, September 12th, during Liberty Hour. If you're a fan of card and board games, then Cabbage is for you. They will first be meeting Thursday, September 14th in room 202. Email Carissa French if you are interested in joining. And make sure to buy your Lumberjack Club memberships this week in room 609. Memberships include a Lumberjack Club t-shirt, a spot in the yearbook photo, and pancakes at club meetings for the rest of the year. The last open meeting is this Friday the 15th, so make sure you join in for pancakes all year long. Also, Scholar Bowl, the buzzer style trivia competition, is starting up once again. Come to room 204 September 12th to try and get more information of how you can get involved. You can also contact Mr. Larson or Mr. Brewer for more details. That is a lot of clubs that we have mm -hmm. going on. I hear we also have a lot of new teachers this year, so let's go ahead and meet a new one, Mr. Laws. Hi, I'm Kellen Laws. I am a new teacher here at Liberty High School. Uh, I teach math, Algebra 2, Geometry, and Algebra 1. Uh, this is my 12th year teaching. Uh, in my spare time, I officiate fun. Uh, high school football games. I am also the assistant wrestling coach here at Liberty High School. Uh, this is my second year to be a wrestling coach here. Um, I have two kids and a wife. Thank you. Welcome all new teachers. We hope you're enjoying LHS. The LPS Fine Arts Department will be hosting the KC Symphony this Wednesday, September 13th at 7 p.m. at the LPAT. Tickets are only $10 and can be purchased from Mr. Ellen. Now let's head over to Caroline Crawford to see what the weather is going to look like today. Caroline? Hey Jays, hope you're all enjoying your Monday morning. Walking into school today was a little chilly, but it will warm up to a high of 70s with clear skies for the afternoon. We will have a high of 83 and a low of 54. By nightfall, it should cool down to the lower 60s. Tomorrow we will have cloudy skies with a high of 82 and a low of 56. You might need a jacket walking into school, but for any outdoor fall sports today, you're looking for a perfect afternoon. That's all I have for you now. Let's head over to Jillian with more on Blue Jay Athletics. Thanks, Caroline. Hey, Jays, a reminder that the boys' soccer team plays Liberty North tonight at LMS at 6.30. Go out and support in hopes that they beat the Eagles. This past weekend, the swim and dive team won their first invite in years at the Independence Invitational on September 8th and 9th. The team won four events at the meet, and Noah Witzke broke the 100 backstroke school record by over two seconds. All right, so you just broke our school's record for the 100 backstroke. How are you feeling? It feels really good to know that my hard work's paid off. Event winner 
points were Witzke in the 100 back and 100 free, Cameron Murphy in the 200 free, and the 400 free relay of Murphy, Sam Cote, Tate Harvey, and Witzke. All those times were state, qualifi state qualifying times, and Sam Cote qualified in the 100 free, and Tate Harvey qualified in the 500 free. Jacob Ahart took second in diving as well. Also this weekend, the Lady J's JV tennis team won the Park Hill JV doubles tournament. Congratulations, ladies. Cross country had a meet this weekend. For the boys, Ryan Flood won first as an individual, and the boys won first overall. They are working towards a perfect season at this point with three straight wins. On the girls' side, Madeline Hill took first individually, and the girls overall took six. Congratulations, everyone. Last, but definitely not least, the Jays football team won last Friday, 55-35, against Raytown, moving their record onto 4-0. They are 3-0 in conference, and at this rate, they are in the driver's seat to be conference champs. Robert Rye had 286 rushing yards, and he had four touchdowns as well. Quarterback Thomas Hendricks snuck in a touchdown of his own, as well as through a couple of dimes last Friday night. Josh Korf had one touchdown, and Nathan Gray had two. This upcoming Friday, they play Olathe East at home, so make sure to come out and support. Also make sure to go to the KMBC9 News account Instagram, at KMBC9 News, and like their photo to nominate next Friday's game as their game of the week. Now let's head over to sports reporters Drew Mackey and Nathan Gray to watch their football players impersonate their coaches. Hi, I'm Drew Mackey. And I'm Nathan Gray. The football team's off to a good start this year. Let's head over to them to see if they can do some coach impersonations. Gosh dang it, Charlie, get down who? We're gonna give Raytown a good old fashioned spank. Charlie, are you sleeping? Next time in film, I'm gonna bring you a nice little sleeping bag, maybe tuck you in, put on some cartoons, and give you a bowl of cereal. Hey, Drill Buster, come here. You're either too slow or you're not going hard enough. Maybe this isn't for you. Maybe you should take your, take your pads, take them off, all the way off. Get your practice jersey, fold it up, get your girdle, because you won't be needing that anymore. Take the knee pads out of the pants, put them in a duffel bag, wrap it all up, tie it real tight, and just set it in front of Coach Regan's office, because we won't be needing you anymore. Gosh darn it, Swope, that's your guy! Don't say anything, get him next time, get him! Way. Open up. Yeah. This has been Drew Mackey and Nathan Gray reporting from KOHS. Thanks, guys. Now, if everyone could please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remember that today is the 16th anniversary of the tragic events that took place in New York City. Our thoughts are with all those who were affected and those who serve. But that's all we have for you today. From Jared of Florida, Joni Bell, Caroline Crawford, Jillian Fleming, and all of our amazing production crew, I'm Josie Wilkerson. Have a great Monday, Jays.